There are two creatures in your brain that constantly want to stop you from achieving your potential. Now this is something that I realized a little while ago and they're things that I'm not sure if they go by a different name, but I've given these parts of the brain specifically two creature names, two animal names that I often think about when I realize that my brain is playing tricks on me and trying to get me to sleep in a little bit longer or not chase my goals or whatever it may be. And I just wanted to come on here quickly and share these two with you. Now the first one is the monkey brain. Some people have heard of this and it's pretty simple to understand. If you look at a monkey you see that it can be often hectic. There might not be any rhyme or reason to what it's doing and it's constantly distracted and likes shiny things and sweet fruit and whatever is there that it can get that can distract it from doing something focused and attention requiring. And so I want you to recognize the first thing that happens when you're trying to sit down and get work done. The monkey brain is gonna try and fuck with you. It's gonna try and do things and get in your way and I just wanna bring this to your attention because what I've realized is that it takes me about six minutes for the monkey to calm down. Now what I mean is when I sit down to do work, for the first six minutes, I don't wanna do it. I start having these thoughts in my mind of, am I really that focused? Is this the right environment? Have I eaten enough? Am I thirsty? Do I need to go to the bathroom? All these different things. And I realized that after about six minutes, I'm kind of in the flow. The monkey kind of gives up and I'm able to focus. Focus. So I want to bring this to your attention first and foremost so that you recognize that when you sit down, the monkey's playing tricks on you. Don't expect your brain to be able to just sit and work immediately. That's not the way it happens. You need to give it some time and recognize it's not your brain, it's the monkey that's clashing its symbols and running around and causing a mess and you just need to give it a minute for that part of your brain to calm down. Now, the second part of your brain, which I think is the more nefarious one, is the snake. I've talked about this in other videos. The reason why it's nefarious is because it sounds just like you. It's not you, but it sounds just like you. Now, here's an example. You're lying in bed and you've set your alarm and it goes off pretty early and the reason why you set it early was because you know that you work well in the mornings now of course not everybody does but you do you work well in the mornings and you set this alarm because you wanted to get up and you wanted to crush that first task off your to-do list and so you wake up in the morning the alarm goes off and you think to yourself I don't think I, I don't think I'm gonna get up I think I'm gonna give myself 10 more minutes and so you hit the snooze button and you go back to sleep when you open your eyes 10 minutes later at that alarm going off and you're even more groggy and you think you know it's Sunday I could probably just start my big thing that I wanted to do that task that I wanted to cross off the list I could probably just do it tomorrow tomorrow's Monday after all Monday's the international day of starting things not really no one ever actually gets things done it seems but Monday's the international day of getting things done so you know I'm just gonna push it to tomorrow tomorrow comes by and the same thing happens. You hit snooze, you wait 10 minutes, you wake up again, you're more groggy and you want to push it to next Monday. The reason why you were willing to hit snooze that first time on the Sunday was because the snake in your brain sounded just like you and it tried to talk you out of your goals because it knew that if you took action right then and there, you would build something special. You would build momentum and the snake hates momentum. And so I wanted to bring this again to your attention that you have this voice in your mind and it's not always a good one. It's not always the one that's saying, hey, do the right thing. Sometimes it's the snake talking to you and it sounds just like you. But once you know that it's there, you recognize whenever you have a goal that your higher self has set to make progress in your life or achieve something, the snake will try and talk you out of it. But once you recognize that it is the snake, you become a lot better at fighting it. So guys, this is a quick video that I just wanted to come on and give to you. It's about the monkey and the snake. The monkey will keep you distracted. The snake will try and talk you out of things. If you get over both of these things, you're going to get a whole lot more done. This is something I wish I realized when I was younger, but I realized it more recently and it's something that I want to give to you here today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Spencer with Must Become. Always remember that your potential is your obligation and so what you can become, you must become.